Hi, my name is Chanel Amita, and I am a physician in the Jerome Lipper Multiple Myeloma Center at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So even though multiple myeloma is not common in young patients, we still see it in a large proportion below the age of 65. And so the couple main considerations in regards to complications are bone health and kidney dysfunction. As we know, multiple myeloma can cause kidney dysfunction in a variety of ways. So it's important to accurately treat and diagnose these patients um, and treat them very quickly to be able to recover as much kidney function as possible. And then in regards to bone health, um, again, that is important in regards to diagnosis with uh, more sensitive imaging, whether that is whole body CT, PET CT, or whole body MRI, um, as opposed to skeletal survey, as well as treating the bone complications related with multiple myeloma with bisphosphonates or rank ligand um, inhibitors such as denosumab. And I think one of the other considerations in our younger patients with multiple myeloma as their outcomes continue to improve are the costs related with these uh, improved outcomes with extended therapies, as well as novel therapies coming down the pipeline and using them in earlier settings to achieve deep remissions, possibly in the hopes of uh, decreasing treatment and associated costs such as CAR-T, future bispecific T-cell engaging therapies, vaccines, and small molecule inhibitors.